good morning good evening good afternoon whatever time of day it is for wherever you're at today we are going to be finally tackling flushing our brake fluids with our project moo dot 4 g4335 fluid right here and we've got all the supplies here to do it at home by yourself so this is what we're going to use today the motive power bleeder to get it pushing into the reservoir all by yourself no need to have a second person and of course turkey baster to you know give that good silk silk huh? for the fluid uh old fluid out the reservoir and a little bottle here to capture everything this is a 3 16 inner diameter tube with a 5 16 outer diameter so that's what we're going to use and yeah we've got our wrenches here that we're going to use to bleed the calipers so let's jump into this okay with the car jacked up and all four wheels off the car let's go over the process of how this mode of power bleeder works the way this product works is it is pressure blend what we're going to do is put the brake fluid inside of here attach this cap to the end or of our reservoir and we're going to pump this up to 15 psi and then have it constantly pump to 15 psi and then as it's there we're going to crack open all the bleeder valves and it's going to push the new fluid into here essentially cycling it out and doing it in a way where we're going to not have too many too much vacuum going so let's go ahead and get this set up with the new fluid all right so typically you'll need about one liter to do a complete flush of the fluid we're gonna go ahead and fill this up with a liter of this fluid and a little extra just to be safe and as you can see this fluid is green so it'll be easily visible once we start bleeding the calipers to see when the new fluids in and that's a big benefit of this so we'll do one liter for now and then we'll go ahead and crack open another one and add a little bit extra just to be safe go ahead and close this off and set this aside next we're gonna head over to our reservoir and suck out as much of the old fluid as possible with the turkey baster so we have our turkey baster here and we have the container that we're going to use to catch all of the old brake fluid. So let's go ahead and take off this cap, take out this plastic piece here and we'll set it aside. Make sure not to drip it anywhere because brake fluid is very uh, paint corrosive so try not to get it on any of the metal parts. And we'll just go ahead and suck out some of the old fluid here and transfer it over. And now we're all done and this is what we're going to use as our catch can for the old fluid all right so let's go over our catch can setup so we have a 3 8 sorry 3 16 inner diameter tube which will slip over our bleeder valve here and the way we have it set up is it goes into a container with a vent hole right here and we have the tube submerged in our brake fluid that we just grabbed out of the reservoir and that's going to prevent any air from getting drawn back into this loop when we bleed the valves. So let's get to putting on the motor power bleeder and then we'll start bleeding the brakes. Alright, so we have our cap for the power bleeder and the container right here. And we're going to screw on this part here. As a precaution, I would recommend setting a shop towel where this joint is because with the motor power bleeder, this joint, um, if you don't replace it with a new one, the one that comes with the power bleeder, you use Teflon tape on it and it still might have a chance of leaking so you don't want this going anywhere. So our next step is we are going to pump this up to 15 psi. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to set you guys down. As I'm pumping it, you can see the fluid start to travel through the tubes. All right, so the next step is 
we have it pumped up to just above 15 psi right now and what we're going to do is let it sit here for a couple of minutes just to watch the pressure make sure it holds consistent for about a minute and then our next step is to bleed the actual calipers itself so while this is settling down let's talk about the caliper bleeding procedure so traditionally on most older cars you would do the caliper furthest from the master cylinder or abs however honda has a different procedure surprisingly honda does the front driver front passenger rear passenger and then rear drivers um, as their sequence and then with the electronic parking brake that we have after you do all four corners you then uh, engage the parking brake five times and then re-bleed the rear calipers so that's going to be the procedure that we're going to do today and quick update we see here that we have a bit of a leak so it's a good thing we let that sit there for a while and so we're gonna fix that real quick all right here comes the fun part of leaving the brakes so we're gonna remove our stem cover here on both sides set it aside to make sure we don't lose it and then with brembo's the caliper size is 11 millimeters um, if you have the stock front brakes it's going to be 10 but what we're going to do for the Brembo's is we're going to bleed the outside valve first. So let's go ahead and get our hose over the bleeder valve. Have it set down here. And now we're just going to go ahead and crack it open. We'll just crack it open about a quarter turn. And you can see all that fluid coming out. All right, so we're going to let the pressure bleeder do its thing, but essentially what you need to do is just have the uh, power bleeder here set to 15 PSI, keep an eye on it, and then just let it do its thing as it goes into the reservoir here. As it goes in, we'll just keep an eye out on this valve here, and once it turns green, the same color as this fluid here, that's when we know it made it through the entire system. So, I'll catch you guys once we get done with this caliper. And then, basically from there, just rinse and repeat for all your other calipers. Alright, so as you can see, it's starting to come out a bit green here. Very similar to that color there. So we're going to go ahead and close off this bleeder valve. And do repeat the same process on the other valve. So that's snug and tight and then when you remove this just kind of slowly wiggle it back and forth pinch it as close to the valve as possible so you don't spill anywhere Grab it and then. Ooh, all right, so we spilled a little bit, but that's okay, that's part of the process. Just have your shop towel handy and clean things up. So let me do that real quick. All right, just clean up the mess you made. Keep a, keep a towel handy. You don't want this brake fluid getting anywhere, especially with metal, especially if you have painted calipers. Yeah, now we'll just repeat the same thing on the backside caliper. All right, pressure is holding steady and it's coming out green. So let's go ahead and close off this caliper here. And yeah, you can definitely see that it is going through this caliper because you've got the green on the bottom and the dirty brown from the old fluid. And now we'll put the covers back on and repeat for all the other sides. So, I'll just put you guys on a time lapse and I'll catch you guys at the end when we're about to wrap up. All right, we're coming up on the last caliper here. We just cracked this open and it's, it's light color, but not quite the green that we're looking for yet. So we're gonna let this keep doing its thing. But you know, while I was down here, I took a look for the camber arms 
And my god, how do you how do you get a fucking bolt or a socket in there? Like I was looking and I'm just like, how? If you guys have done camber arms, let me know how, because I I thought I could do this myself, but I don't know if I can. It's very tight back there, so oh, stay updated. But it's slowly turning green, as you can see. Oh no, it's green. Okay, so we're good. Alright, so we're gonna close this caliper up and wrap this video up. Okay, so once you are wrapped up with bleeding all four corners, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew the top here and that's gonna let all the pressure out without making a mess, don't worry. So I'll set you guys down real quick and show you what I mean. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see this well so we've got the pressure gauge here and as soon as I just open this a little bit you can hear the air escape like so and that pressure gauge goes down to zero and you can hear all the fluid from here going back into that container all right now that all that pressure is relieved, we're going to clean up this mess that we have here. I need to get a new cap for this because it's leaking at the cap and made a mess everywhere. But we will clean that up in a bit. Okay, so we've got the reservoir topped up and everything bled, but we're going to do one last step before we wrap everything up and clean things up. And that is engage the rear parking brake five times to cycle the fluid through the lines because the uh, fluid that goes to the rear takes a bit more of a complex path. So I'll just do that um, just to be sure that you cycle all the fluid. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Start that car. Get a nice cold start for you guys. Honda. That's our wee box right there. But pretty simple. We're just gonna go ahead and engage the parking brake. That's once. And now that's five times. And basic and basically what we're gonna do now is just do everything again, but this time just for the rear calibers, which should only take about five minutes total since you've already gone through that entire system and bled everything. So let's go ahead and put back our bleeder and crack the rears open. All right, car is back on the ground and got a couple of things to clean up still, but you know, make sure you torque down. Damn nuts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These nuts, ha, <laughs> got <him. laughs> No, I'm kidding. But if you found this video helpful, uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And and make sure to follow my socials at QMedia at Instagram. Um, that's where I'll reply to any questions you have a little quicker than the comments. So that's about it. Please hit that subscribe button. We are over halfway to a thousand subscribers and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.